<laughs> hello, hello. Let's check and see. Yes, we are going live in the group. Hopefully you can hear me. Let me see if I can hear me. Check. Yep, and I can see. hear me. Yes, we are going live in the group. Oh. Hopefully you can hear me. La, 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 la. Turn that down. That's very annoying, Ingrid. Okay, my phone is not cooperating. Hey, good morning. How are you? Who is with me live here this morning? I hope I have got some friends joining me. And if you don't already know me and we aren't already friends, let me take a minute to introduce myself. My name is Ingrid Owens and I'm a business coach and marketing strategist helping creative entrepreneurs who have service-based businesses like photographers, calligraphers, graphic designers, web designers, copywriters, anybody that works creatively in a service-based business online, helping them get visible and get their stuff seen so that they can grow their business, make more, have more clients and not be relying on just referrals for their business. So that is what I am here to do. And to this morning specifically, what I wanted to talk about was this getting visible and why you might even need to get visible at all. I know for me, good morning, Linda, how are you? Yes, the <laughs> the new year is treating me well. It's good to see you here. I know for me, uh, getting visible, one of the reasons why I decided to have uh, an online business in the first place. And before this um, coaching business, my business was photography and teaching photography and photography services online. Um, I did that offline too, but a large portion of my income was from my online thing, which is still there to some degree. Um, but a, a, one of the big reasons why I ever got into that in the first place was because I didn't really feel up to, you know, getting out in front of clients. At the time, I was a new mom and I really wanted something that I could do around my kids schedule without having to me to go to a nine to five. And I've always been entrepreneurial. I've always been involved in business. I, I worked with my father in a family business for a long time before that. But I, I wanted to do something that kind of allowed me not to have to show up or in, in corporate or what I thought corporate had to be like online, right? I felt like I had to show up in a certain way. And uh, being online allowed me to do that because it allowed me to hide a little bit. And I find that a lot of actually photographers and those are the people who have had the most experience with working with also have that same idea that they like to hide behind the camera. They're not always the people that want to be in front of the camera. You know, that's part of the reason why they're the, the, they're the photo keeper or the photo taker and the memory keeper. Right. Um, so, uh, you know, the big thing that shifted for me, it, it was fine to do my business like that for a while when blogging was new, when affiliate marketing was new, I was making money that way and that was okay. Um, but what I came to realize very quickly is that people buy from people, firstly, not from just an unnamed or an unknown, but they buy from people who they know, like, and trust. So even when you are selling um, some sort of a product, People want to know the story behind that. They want to know who is coming, where that's coming from, who is the maker and the creator behind that. And that is especially so when you're selling a service, because in some regard, you're selling a little piece of yourself, right? It, it comes from you. So if you cannot show who that is to the marketplace and to your prospective clients, then you're going to have a hard time getting customers and you're definitely going to get a hard time finding those dreamy absolutely perfect customers right those ones that you love to work with so visibility and being visible is something that really is necessary as part of a business strategy online right now you have to have some form of visibility whether that's visibility for your products or for your own self and it really has to be a little bit more of yourself even than the products and um, for a product based business but mostly right now ah, the sun has come out and decided to blind me but mostly what I'm talking about is for if you have a service you want to let people get to know you now we have um, a world of social media 
see if I can angle my camera a little bit more to get away from this. Let's see if I move back here. Oh, that's better. Okay, we don't want to be blinded by the light. We live in this world of social media, um, which makes, you know, getting to know new people and getting to know... Um, you know, potential clients and customers, a really easy thing. It also means that they can get to know you so much easier too, right? So we are gifted that we live in this world right now, but we need to use it the correct way because we can over um, do the whole like visibility thing on social media. I think it really has to be done strategically and it has to be done authentically. And if you're not doing it those, those ways, it, you won't want to do it, right? Especially if the authenticity piece is missing. It's too challenging. It's too difficult. It's damn right hard to live up to this shiny ideal of what we might think somebody in our position has to look like, right? It is, it's too difficult. So we need to be authentic and we need to show the true side of ourselves. And this has really been my journey over the last couple of years. And one of the biggest ways that I've been able to do that is being consistent and showing up here every week on a Tuesday morning to talk about that. And I have done that consistently for uh, the last six months, I think. Before that, I had a group on a Facebook group, which closed this year, which we were a bit sad to let go of, but it had to happen so the next thing could come along. But that also gave me the consistency to show up every week for my people. At the time, those were my people. Now my people have changed a little bit because they're more interested in business, not necessarily just photography, right? But that consistently showing up every week People knew that if they went there on a Monday morning, they at some point on a Monday morning, which does stretch from nine o'clock or like seven o'clock in the morning to 10 o'clock in the, or not 10, but 12, right? So I would always get in there and post at that time. And I think, you know, that really helped people to see that, okay, this person knows what they're talking about. It positions you as an expert. It helps your people know where to find you. They know where you're going to be, right? So visibility is really important and using the right platform and the right tool is really important. So over the next couple of months, you're going to hear me talk a lot more about visibility. I feel like this is something especially creative struggle with they're not doing the visibility piece the right way and therefore they're not getting clients based on anything other than just referrals and word of mouth and that's a good enough way to when you know when you're starting off um, but there's no consistency there in terms of revenue that's not a way to build a business you're just kind of doing it on a hope and a prayer right so you want to be able to have a strategy around your consistency your consistent visibility around your social media strategy around how you're going to show up online the key with this strategy is going to be having people to get to know like and trust you and those things are what you should be aiming for when you're doing your posts on social on insta on facebook wherever that is um you know it doesn't always have to be a feature of your own particular service that you want to give people a glimpse into who you are what your values are what you stand for and how you run your business right so if this is something that you feel like you could need a little bit of help with I would love to speak to you about it we can get on a strategy call figure out where the points are that are causing you issues right now and develop a plan on how you're going to fix them this is something that I offer for free. It's a 30 minute call and I would love if you would take me up on it. I will drop the link below here. But I'm always here every Tuesday morning for this Biz Talk Tuesday. You'll see me consistently showing up here with lots of tips and tricks for getting visible online. But I really just wanted to give a general overview of why that's important because you might be thinking, well, I'm still in that point where I can hide. But I'm going to tell you, you're always going to stay hidden. People aren't going to be able to find you. They're not going to come knocking on your door. You've got to be available to them, right? Okay. So if you would like to talk further, I would love to get on a call. Like I say, click the link below. It's a very simple application and we'll get scheduled. 
And if you're also, if you're on Instagram, that's kind of my favorite place to hang out when I'm not here on Facebook. You know, as a photographer at heart, I love Instagram. I love looking at everybody's feeds. I love looking at all the photos. It's kind of where my place is. And I do a lot of little uh, one minute videos over there as well. And you can also follow my stories, which will give you a little insight onto what my day in my life is like whether you need to have that in your life or not, I don't know, but I'm getting there. For example, I'm doing one this morning um, on the Christmas chaos that exploded on my living room. So if you can relate, I would love to hear your feedback on that because, you know, if you don't know, we're moving to a whole nother country. So every ornament had to be carefully considered. Do we want to keep it for next year? Wrap it up and put it away. So that has caused a little chaos in my house. But anyway, I get, I, I, I digress. In the meantime, have an awesome week. Let me know in the comments below what your biggest pain is around visibility. And as, as I said earlier, if you'd like to get on a call to chat about it, I would love to do that with you. All right, have a great rest of your week and I'll talk to you soon. Back here next Tuesday, if, if not sooner.